Friends, there is a new situation at Tesla Giga Shanghai. It's not very big by its size, but now it's expanding, expanding to increase Tesla's production capacity at Giga Shanghai. Tesla invested 180 million US dollars into Giga Shanghai's latest expansion project. Tesla China's expansion project is expected to increase the Giga Factory's production capacity, making Giga Shanghai even more formidable than it is now. It's already great, but it's going to be even be, become better. Tesla plans to invest $13 million of its 1.2 uh, Chinese Yuan investment in environmental protection. The project is expected to start in December 2021 and be completed by April 2022. In a public EIA report, Tesla stated it has completed the carbon footprint and carbon emission according for Giga Shanghai's expansion, accounting for Giga Shanghai's expansion. The report also stated that the project will mainly focus on Giga Shanghai's phase one and phase B production area to increase the production capacity of existing models as per a report from China News Network. I will have the link to China News Network in the description of this video. It's in Chinese. Tesla plans to expand and optimize the Shanghai Gigafactory's stamping workshop, the body workshop, the painting workshop, and final assembly workshop, and the logistics operations center, explains Tesla Radi based on the Chinese source. The e EIA report also mentioned that new, no new production equipment will be installed at Giga Shanghai after the expansion. Instead, Tesla China will rely on existing production equipment. That's going to make it more efficient. Tesla China also plans to increase its workforce, work hours, and the frequency of material turnover. Tesla China estimates that 4,000 new employees will be hired for Giga Shanghai, bringing the total workforce to 19,000 employees, okay? 15,000 people work there right now, plus 4,000 new hires. For some perspective, Giga Shanghai reportedly produced more than 1,600 Model Y vehicles per day in 2000, Model 3 units per day back in quarter 3 2021. It is well known that Tesla China aims to improve its production numbers every quarter. Last weekend, Giga Shanghai's holding lot seemed filled to the brim with vehicles, hinting that an expansion might be necessary. You may have seen my previous video report on that. Giga Shanghai is currently handling production for Asia and Europe as Tesla's main export hub. Giga Berlin may take over production for Europe once it starts operations. However, Giga Shanghai will likely remain a cornerstone in Tesla's production plans. So are you excited? Giga Shanghai is expanding. $180 million is a lot of money and it's going to bring 4,000 more employees, make the company, um, the Giga Factory more efficient and it's going to uh, increase the capacity of Giga Shanghai's production and we'll see more cars coming out of Giga Shanghai. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please join our uh, channel, like our video if it was informative and share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it and uh, peace be with all of you god bless you and i will see you soon in our next report tesla giga shanghai is now either suggesting something really interesting or hinting something very interesting or this can be a big coincidence friends yesterday one of you sent me some tips and this is very interesting from giga shanghai so first of all take a look at uh, here's what he noticed actually when you look at the trucks at giga shanghai are these new colors as uh, are these not the colors as claimed to roll off the production from giga berlin look how similar the giga shanghai's truck colors are similar to the new colors that are um, uh, claimed to roll off the production of Gigafactory Berlin. So is this too coincidental or are these kind of silent hint? Look at the colors, red and, uh, and how clever the marketing is. So look very carefully at the trucks and the colors on the canvases of the trucks. Aren't these the colors strikingly similar to the crimson red and abyss blue or this is just 
just a coincidence. So what happened earlier that Tesla Giga Berlin's paint colors that are very, going to be very famous were recently revealed via the company's mobile app, Tesla app, update 4.2.1, teased the first three paint colors available for Giga Berlin vehicle. Those colors are deep crimson multi-coat, abyss blue multi-coat, mercury silver metallic. Now look at the canvases of the Giga Shanghai's colors. Are they not too similar? So what do you think? This is the uh, kind of the key of this report. What is this? A new hint from Tesla about Giga Shanghai's new upcoming colors or this is just coincidental? Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section below, friends. Tesla plans to produce the mobile uh, Model Y first at Giga Berlin within the source code of the Tesla's app recently update where also references to the three new color options, Deep Crimson Multi-Code, Abyss Blue Multi-Code and Mercury Silver Metallic. And uh, if you remember, Tesla enthusiast Tesla underscore odd tried to recreate the available Giga Berlin colors and shared renders of them on Twitter. Now, what's interesting is that we see the same colors on the canvases of Giga Shanghai. So what does this mean? Coincidence or a new hint from Tesla? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone. Have a great weekend this weekend. And let's move on to the next Tesla story. There is a new development today from Tesla Giga Berlin that may create new situation. Tesla critics want another round of discussions to cover their Giga Berlin complaints. The third round of online discussions of critics against Tesla Giga Berlin, as you may know already from my reports, just ended on Monday. And we're all we're hoping that soon the final approval uh, of Tesla Giga Berlin will come and Tesla will start the Giga Berlin mass production. But now environmental associations in Brandenburg are calling for a new public interpretation of the Tesla application for the plan. Again, fourth time. They, are, um, uh, they criticize, among other things, that some parts of the discussion were no longer blackened out and some documents and additional requests were missing. On Tuesday, these sentiments were expressed in a joint statement from the NABU Bund, Green League and Nature Front, all these environmental associations. We were surprised when we heard about the third round of discussions. And now we're talking about th fourth round because the third round when they requested, government gave them because they had a reason and I'm afraid they have a reason today too. The group mentioned several of their grievances in their new statement. According to the Giga Berlin critics, a second accident report requested by the admission authority at Tesla was not interpreted. And some of the statements of the environmental groups were missing from the renewed discussion this month. The groups also noted that they feared the facility would neg negatively affect the area's nature and drinking water. We have heard this story before. While it remains to be seen if the environmental groups would be successful in delaying Tesla Giga Berlin's Giga Berlin's opening yet again, the fact remains that the discussions this month have formally ended already on Monday, notes Tesla Radin in an article. And with its completion, the date for the final approval of Gigafactory Berlin seems to be drawing closer. The Ministry of the Environment has, not, has actually not shared any estimate as to when Giga Berlin's final approval may be released. However, CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk and Brandenburg Economics Minister Jörg Steinbach are both optimistic that the approval will be granted by the end of this year. Gigafactory Berlin is an important aspect of Tesla's business in the coming years, friends. It's a huge opportunity for Tesla as well as Gigafactory Texas. Tasked with the production of the Model Y, arguably the company's best-selling vehicle today, Giga Berlin would cater to the demand for the premium all-electric cars in the European region. The facility is also set to debut a number of key technologies for Tesla, such as 4680 battery cells and structural battery packs. Giga Berlin will also debut a new paint shop that could provide unique shades to Tesla's vehicle. So what do you think? Do you think Tesla will again 
delay the production of Model Y? Do you think the government will allow the uh, environmental associations and Tesla critics for the fourth time to have new discussions? This will definitely delay everything at least for one month. But like I said in my previous, uh, previous report, Tesla needs this time because uh, according to uh, Brandon Mook's RBB uh, public radio, Tesla still needs to do some paperwork, which may take some time and I don't know how long it will take. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan. Have a wonderful rest of the evening on this Thanksgiving evening. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. God bless you. Peace be with all of you and your families. We really have a lot to thank for. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.